Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA, talking about sustainability, just can't, I mean, just love the world of sustainability, and I'm going to talk to you today about a new product that I just ran into. A couple of friends of mine, Roland and Carolyn from Holland, were here visiting me in, so in Southern California, Los Angeles area, and we're here in my backyard. Well, you know what? Everything's kind of coming together in the world of sustainability. What I mean by this is, uh, as you know, I've made tons of YouTube videos about sustainable vertical gardening, uh, you know, vertical gardens that recycle water. It's just the bomb. In fact, I've got these, I've got these over here. Um, I, and this is literally, it's a, it's a micro farm. And we just, you know, I, these are just really the bomb because as we as a society continue to grapple with mega drought, we're gonna need to figure out ways to grow food for the masses and we can do it with aeroponics where you're, you, you put uh, water in uh, 10 gallons down here and then it shoots up here and it recycles over and over again. Well, I wanna tell you something. Uh, Carolyn and Roland came by today and showed me this. Th 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 now, now check this thing out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it and, okay, you would swear, I would stake my life on it if I didn't know any better, this was a piece of plastic, you know? Now this is food grade plastic. These are all food grade plastic, however, People have an aversion to plastics because you don't find plastic grown out of the ground. You don't find plastic trees. It, it just, you know, it's a, it's a man-made substance. Is it safe? It said it's safe, but who knows? And I'm gonna leave that up to scientists. What I do know is that if there was an alternative that we would jump on it. And uh, this here is actually a product. It's made out of potato starch that's right it's potato starch I mean look at this thing it just it just I mean it just it you I would swear it's a piece of plastic so so what I'm thinking is you know what all the plastic that with it you know with this is like the first grade all these things right here are like the first generation I would love to see something along the tunes of aeroponics and aquaponics but made out of potato starch and then Carolyn can you tell us a little more about this exactly what it is that I mean how did this process come about how long has it been around well uh, it's been around for a few years uh, already and we use it in the Netherlands uh, for uh, planting trees mm -hmm. to make it uh, grounded mm -hmm. and not that you uh, had to cut a tree to make a tree mm -hmm. you know so this is very famous in the Netherlands already so we are now here to introduce this uh, not plastic they call it even natural plastic, but it is just potato stuff. So within a few years, it's just, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, how do you say that? It's, it's going away, mm -hmm. you know? So we can uh, have this like plastic. You can use it for anything here. So we can change this in this. And it's natural, it's just natural stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eventually it'll biodegrade. I mean, you know, even plastics, I've seen plastics, you know, food grade or not, they'll eventually biodegrade too. And so if that's the case, then, you know, then then so be it. But it, but I would imagine this will last, have, have a lifetime of, of many, many years. Yeah, five to yeah. 10 years. I think mm -hmm. 10 years will go mm -hmm. easily mm -hmm. for this stuff. And yeah. then, you know, this is also right, you write it off, I think, within 10 years, right. this stuff. So yeah. you can easily use this stuff and it's friendly. Yeah. It's sustainable, it's- um, It's earth friendly. Yeah. It's sustainable, it's biodegradable, which Correct. is a huge thing. And it's safe. How much is our safety worth to us as a society? Well, I think it's priceless. I really do. Yeah, I agree. And uh, a little Roxy here. Ah, she keeps wanting to get in a picture. Okay, Roxy, say hi to Roxy. the world. Okay. okay. <laughs> Roxy is also very uh, positive about yeah. this stuff. But you see, this is what we have to change in California, guys. This is really the bump for the future of California. And this stuff, we can, yeah, we can change it all in the natural stuff. Right. Excellent. So. Well, for more information, I mean, I know these are tree stakes originally. It, 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 you came right. over uh, talking to me about the tree stakes, right. and I think it's the bomb because if they're if it's in the ground and eventually it just you know nothing bothers you more than having a piece of plastic in the ground that's going to be there for you know a hundred years from now. Never, you know, never your go kids away. and great 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 grandkids, no. and it, and it's like oh it's where did this come from? Oh, it's an artifact. What is it? Uh, uh, I don't know. But this is not going to be there for future generations. It's going right. to dissipate into the ground. It's like same uh, natural stuff as the, as the soil and you know. wow so how is some of that fabulous i i'm just i think it's the bomb i think this is the best discovery 
I've seen in this millennium. I mean, it's really the bomb. So California, go for it. You got it. You okay. Got it. Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> Thanks for coming out to yes. California. And we're going to see you next time. Mike from Enviroscape LA. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape and LA. And Carolyn Francais Green. You got okay. it. You got okay. it.